Hello students, in this video we shall learn comparing and ordering of integers. So here we have a number line and the dots on the number line mark the integers negative 10 to positive 10. Right? So we have a 0 in the middle and on the right hand side we have all our positive integers. On the left hand side we have got all our negative integers. Now let's say I have 7 and 4 and if I want to compare these two numbers obviously 7 is greater than 4 right. Now if you see on the number line 7 is here and 4 is here. So 7 is to the right of 4 right. Let's take one more example 4 and 0. So, 4 is here and 0 is here. So, 4 is greater than 0. We know that. And again, if you observe, 4 is to the right of 0. So, we see that if a number is to the right of a given number, it would be greater. Now, for example, let's say if I take minus 3 and minus 8. So, let's Locate minus 3 and minus 8. Minus 3 is here. Minus 8 is here. Right. Now minus 3 is to the right of minus 8. Isn't it? It's to the right. So minus 3 is greater than minus 8. Notice that 3 is less than 8. Why? Because if I see 3 here, 3 is here and 8 is here. 8 is to the right side of 3. So, 8 is greater than 3. But here, when I am taking minus 3 and minus 8, minus 3 is located to the right side of minus 8. So, we know that if the numbers are to the right of any particular given number, it would be greater. Right? So, also we can say that on a number line, the number increases as we move to the right. The number would increase as we move to the right and the number decreases when we move to the left. Now, let's see some examples of uh, arranging the numbers in ascending and descending order. So, the first example is here. We have got a few integers, minus 10, 10, 5, minus 4, 0 and 2. And uh, we need to arrange these in ascending order. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to use our number line. So, I already have a number line here and I am going to mark the points. So, minus 10 is here, 10 is here on the right side. 5 is here, minus 4 is here, 0 is here and 2 is here. Okay. Now the question is saying arrange in ascending order. Ascending order means small to big. Right. So we know that as we move to the right of the number line the number increases and as we move to the left of the number line the number decreases so if i have to arrange from small to big my smallest number would be here on this side and my greatest number would be on the right hand side so now since the numbers are arranged on a number line it's easy for me to arrange them because first is minus 10 second is minus 4, third is 0, fourth is 2, fifth is 5 and sixth is 10. And if I want to write it using my symbols, then I can write minus 10 is less than minus 4 is less than 0 is less than 2 is less than 5 is less than so, I am arranging the numbers from small to big or in ascending order. Okay, let's do the next one. 
arrange the following integers in descending order so descending order means we need to arrange from big to small so the largest number we have to write first and then we move to our smallest number so again we will follow the same steps let's locate the numbers first range in descending order so first i have to take my greatest number so greatest number again if i write it here this is smallest number on this side and greatest number would be on the right hand side so greatest number is 9 so i will write this first 1 2 3 4 5 and now i will just write it using my symbols so first is 9 9 is greater than 8 8 is greater than 2, greater than negative 1, and greater than minus 3. So let's summarize what we learned. Every positive integer is larger than every negative integer. So my positive integers are all these numbers here, and my negative integers are all these numbers on the left hand side. So these are always greater than are negative integers right next zero is less than every positive integer true because zero is here and it is less than all the positive integers zero is um, larger than every negative integer because zero is on the right hand side and all the integers are on the left hand side and we know that when we move to the right the number increases right so zero is greater than all the negative integers 0 is neither a negative integer nor a positive integer. So we don't write plus 0 or minus 0. We don't write like this. We just write 0. So 0 is neither a positive integer nor a negative integer. Farther a number from 0 on the right, larger is its value. That means as we move to the right, the farther we go, the value increases so like if you go here it will be 3 if you move further it will be 7 and then again if you move further it will be 10 and so on and the opposite would be as we move on the left the value decreases so this is minus 2 and then again minus 6 so minus 2 would be greater than minus 6 because minus 2 is on the right side of minus 6 right so I hope this concept is clear to you in the next lesson, we shall learn how to add integers on a number line.